everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planet Zoo. And hi and welcome to Madagascar, which is the theme of today. And uh, my initial plan here isn't what actually happened. I wanted this to be a mirror of the South America habitat that was the first habitat I think I built in the zoo. So I wanted this to have the same water area and the same kind of climbing, the same everything to make it mirror. But there is a few issues there, one being that I basically don't have the same animals in here. We have a lot of climbing animals. We also have a lot of climbing animal at uh, South America, but we have even more here. We have a single bird and then uh, but this is much more climbing animals, so we don't really have any animals in here that really really like water uh, So that amount of space for water just didn't make uh, any sense and at the same time I fell in love with the Fusa when I, I looked at the Fusa mod So therefore I needed to make the Fusa habitat which uh, video went up last Wednesday so therefore, I made a completely new plan in here, but I hope you'll really like it either way, I certainly do. My first thing about this entire habitat was to figure out which animals I should have in here. And I did that by googling li different lists about uh, Madagascar and which animals actually live there. I think there's a few all of us know, the Fusa of course and the lemurs. However, there are also a lot of other animals that just basically uh, no one either it never heard about or the fact that they are also everywhere else. So on the lemur side, we're gonna have six different lemurs in here. We have the black lemur, then we have the black and white roughed lemur. And then we have the blue-eyed black lemur. Keep in mind, these is three very different lemurs. And if you want a close-up, not on the black and white rough, that's the one from the game. But the other lemurs that isn't in the game, uh, I have videos on that and I will le link every single one below. Then we have the mongoose lemur. That is a little mongoose-like, but it is still a lemur. Again, video below. Uh, then we have the red roft lemur and the ring tail lemur, again lemurs from the game, which you probably already know and love. Then we have a bird in here, or oh, we have few birds, but the mudded, uh, the moving around bird is the Madagascan ibis, uh, again link below. But then we also have two other birds in here that are technically props. So that's the barn owl and the duck. So they won't be able to move around, but I placed them in here uh, because I still really like them. I think they belong in here. And if I had the opportunity to actually place them as living animals in here, I would certainly do so. Uh, again, that's the barn owl and the duck. The crow actually also live on Madagascar, but I felt it would be really weird to place it in a habitat like this. Then we actually also have another lemur adjacent animal. This is the, uh, a carnivore, but it is the ring-tailed Wanchira. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, uh, but it's very cute and it reminds me a little bit of a lemur. But when you see it move around, you can certainly see it's not. And again, it is a carnivore, however, a small carnivore, so I won't be afraid. It uh, sorry, I, I, I will not be afraid that it gonna hurt my lemurs at all. Then we have a very, very small animal in here, and that's the elephant screw. I didn't actually figure out which exactly screw live. Uh, sorry, no screw. Shrew lives on Madagascar. I, so if you know, please comment below. But basically, we only have one uh, shrew. Um, mud at this point and that's the black rough uh, elephant roof so that's what I went for then I wanted to put another animal in here but once again I couldn't figure out the exact subspecies and that's the donkey uh, I would assume that it's not 
called donkey, it is called ass, but the Somalian uh, ass that we have as a mod at this point doesn't seem to be the one from Madagascar, so I don't didn't want to add that. So instead I want to make something uh, donkey association in uh, another habitat in the zoo. Uh, but that is all the Madagascan animals that I'm gonna use. I will also have exhibits in here, but I will try to make them all African. Um, but basically, they are not uh, focused around Madagascar because we don't have enough exhibit animals for that. But as I mentioned already, I really want to make this habitat but I still wanted it to be somehow adjacent to the South American but I went completely away for that idea even though I still really would have liked it to be but instead I went in and did something completely different you can see already now even though it, the building itself mirrored the other habitat the design doesn't do that at all and that's roughly because we have a all of our animals we have the elephant shrew and we have the uh ibis and that's the only animals that aren't able to either fly or uh climb so therefore i thought it would be an amazing feeling going into the habitat and the first thing you see is these beautiful creatures climbing over you of course we would have to have some poop um alerting signs so you are aware that that can happen when you go in here but basically i thought it would be a magnificent feeling to just go into a habitat and the first thing that happens is actually that these animals moves over you as you can see you are also able to move around and stand places where you aren't in risk of lemur droppings in your face all the time but you would be able to move around uh, quite freely without that happening. Anyway, you are probably aware if you watch my videos uh, on my channel. When I make these big mixed habitat, I aren't really able to talk about every single animal. But instead, I want to talk about an article I found uh, on WWF's uh, website called worldwildlife.org where they basically have a Madagascan article about some facts, uh, the people that live there, the threats of the area and what WWF are doing and what you can do to help. As always I will link them below so if you want to go and support please do so, feel free to do so. But if you don't want to, I won't make you. I'm not gonna take you for a bad person or anything like that. Again, we can't all support every single thing. And I understand that a lot of things are happening in the world. So maybe this isn't your highest priority at this point. But I still like to just say that the opportunity is out there. If you feel like it, if you want to, uh, you can support. And if you don't want to support right now or support at all, then you can still go and read these beautiful articles both about animals but also the places where they live originally the islands uh, island nation of madagascar was originally a physical part of africa not not the uh, continent of africa but uh, the same uh, land you could basically walk from in, uh, Mozambique to Madagascar because it was one piece of land. Then the island group split off and this happened 160 million years ago. So therefore there's about 95% of Madagascan reptiles, 89% of their plant life and 92% of their mammals that have relations to animals in other places in Africa because the genetic pool comes from the same place but they will be unique to Madagascar because they had 160 million years 
to evolve on their own. So therefore you will see some genetic similarities, but basically this giant part of the both plant life and animals develop all on their own and therefore they won't exist anywhere else in the world. This of course also means that the populations of both animals and plants will be lower because they live in a very limited place compared to animals that live on multiple continents. However, this is an ex a excuse for letting them just die out, but it is an explanation about why a lot of their numbers are lower than animals other places. This have personally changed my dreams for the future a lot since I always dreamed about visiting Africa and see the African savanna on my own. I would also feel like now to make it a round trip and visit Madagascar at least a few days if I ever got in that area of the world. <laughs> of course it will be very expensive. But I, I definitely th feel like this is something worth seeing, especially because of all the issues in the area. So therefore, make sure to, if it the worst should happen, if you really want to visit this place and see it, make sure it happens before uh, something bad might happen. Madagascar is the fifth largest island in the world, and with that, it is around. 144 million acres this is about the size of texas or it is uh, just over 582,000 square kilometers and just to put it into perspective denmark is just under 43,000 square kilometers so it's a massive island, even though it is still a small area of the world, it's still isolated, but it's still pretty goddamn big. And with that, it of course have more than just one climate. It are mostly tropical around the coast and temperate uh, climate more in the inland uh, areas. To the south, it is more arid. And I know that I focus here mostly of the tropical foresty uh, area, but it also have tropical dry forests, plateaus and desert, uh, and more than 3000 miles of coastline. And around the island, they also have some of the largest coral reefs in the world. As I already mentioned, a large percentage of the plant and animals on Madagascar is only native to Madagascar. But I didn't know that it was more than 11,000 plants that only live on Madagascar. This also includes some baobab trees or some of the baobab tree families that only uh, grows here. They are over that there's also a lot of of course mammal reptile amphibians and other kinds of animals that only live here and i know new animal discoveries were something we thought of as history but from uh, uh, 1099 and into 2010 uh, scientists discovered more than 615 new species in Madagascar. This includes, for instance, 41 mammals and 61 reptiles, which means that if you want to discover new and amazing animals, it is possible that there still lives animals and plants around these areas that still haven't been discovered yet. But Madagascar is also home for some of the rarest animals in the world. For instance, the silky sifaka, which is a lemur, as I understand it, and the rare plug share tortoise. These animals may go extinct if the issues on Madagascar continues, or even if they don't, because again, it is a small area, and if their numbers are already too low, 
there is a point of no return so again if you really want to be a part of this you need to get busy but the diversity of madagascar isn't limited to plants and animals also the malagasy who is the people living on madagascar is actually descendants from people from around the world this includes borneo east africa and therefore they actually draw their heritage and their culture both from southeast asia india africa and the middle east this brings in a lot of different uh, people of course and therefore they also have more than 20 ethnic groups coexisting in harmony on this beautiful island this is a number of 21 million people being able to live among each other with different heritage culture and religion which i personally find extremely inspiring madagascar is of course a area of the world that have many of the same issues than other areas of the world we have talked about this before illegal wildlife trade deforestation and forest degradation and i won't go too much into it again i won't read everything from this article so i link it below if you want to read more about it please do but what i really want to tell you now is what wwf aim to do and i'm gonna read it up from the website so i don't uh, confuse anyone wwf aims to protect restore and maintain madagascar unique biodiversity in harmony with the culture and livelihoods of the local people we work closely with government scientists industry and local communities on several areas that present the best opportunities to secure the future for the island's peoples and species. Here it goes on both to explain about adapting to the climate change but also to how sustain livelihoods and of clo uh, coastal communities both to allow the fishermen to fish, get food and money for their family but at the same time protect the animal and plant lives around these coasts. Once again, I don't want to talk too much about it because I really think you should read this for yourself. So again, link below. For now, enjoy the cinematics and I will be back in a minute.
Okay, everyone, it seems like we are here. Before you go anywhere, I just want to mention that next week we get the DLC and therefore a lot of stuff won't be as usual. For instance, I don't think I'm gonna make any mod reviews for next week. First of all, because I really want to build with in this suit before it crashes. Uh, with the new update again, mud uh, props normally crash. Uh, so maybe I can get in to this suit later when the mods get updated, but I can't be sure of that. So therefore, I really want to build more in here. Um, so you're gonna get some speed balls instead. You will get um, videos Monday to Saturday. No matter what, but it's just gonna be speed builds instead, and I'm gonna mix it a little bit with this and stuff from the new DLC. Um, so you're not gonna wait for every single new videos. I will uh, make the new videos, and then I will swap these around uh, according to what I have time for, basically. Uh, but these will all be uh, three recorded here before uh, the DLC comes out uh, and then I just have them in the bank. I'm not sure if the mud videos will be back the weeks after that or if I, we have to wait a little more because we need to wait for the mothers to make the muds. So therefore that's out of my hands but I do believe that at the time as recording this I have like six extra built I already built beside this one that you haven't seen yet so I think we have something to go with at this point uh, anyway I won't bore you anymore I really hope to see you next week and I really hope you are gonna tune in to see what we can play with with the new DLC I'm so intrigued as I mentioned earlier it isn't my dream DLC but I feel like I got a few ideas with it that can be kind of interesting so um, I hope you are here for that and you know the drill guys like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again either in the comments below or in the next video. Bye guys!